Health is not just a series of detoxes. When discussing health these days, it's nearly impossible for someone not to bring up detox. It is a word that has dominated the industry and certainly is a major facet of good health, but is it the only answer to resolving our collective health concerns? In a word, no. Although removing biological, chemical, and ethereal infections is a significant part of the puzzle, it's no more important than making sure that the body has adequate nutrient levels as well. Let's take gut restoration as an example. Our digestive systems have been poisoned by the conventional food and healthcare industries. From glyphosate to pharmaceutical antibiotics, we have managed to pollute and depopulate the delicate intestinal lining and the beneficial microorganisms that reside in it to create a wasteland of biological and chemical constituents that no longer afford us the digestive capacity we were set up to enjoy. Is detoxing the singular answer to resolving digestive function? Not by a long shot. Are probiotics the gift that will change everything? Rarely. And this is why so many struggle to remedy their digestive issues. The remediation is myopic, partly because doctors don't have a clue what to do and offer poor advice, and partly because we've been conditioned to be lazy and indifferent to our health rather than being an active participant. While taking natural antimicrobials are mostly a desirable and fundamental aspect of cleaning up the gut, if you don't have a wide diversity of nutrients like probiotics, vitamins, minerals, and enzymes, you're going to fall significantly short of significant restoration of your gut. Not only that, if you don't take into consideration the mental aspect of your health and how that affects your digestive infrastructure, you're going to be frustrated with your lack of results. For example, stress can lower stomach acid and contract the digestive system, causing inefficient assimilation of required nutrients. Now, detox can help with assimilation due to the removal of pathogenic microbes, hereby, thereby restoring some digestive integrity, but it can't replace the nutrients mentioned earlier. And what happens when digestive function is wonky? So it becomes your immune system. What happens when your immune system is compromised? You become more susceptible to biological infections and compounding health problems as a result. And in the current environment, the last thing you want to be is immunocompromised. And reactive solutions are tricky and fraught with time-sensitive implications. So don't rely on pine needle tea as your elixir to get out of a fix. Not only that, it's incredibly myopic to think it will save you along with other supplements if you are dealing with underlying digestive autoimmune or other chronic health problems. Those that not only survive but thrive have taken a much more rewarding approach that benefits them now in terms of energy, elimination of nagging symptoms, etc. And it's rooted in their food and lifestyle, with supplementation often added in as well. Want to feel young again? Light, clear-headed, pain-free, bloat-free, anxiety-free? Detox and nourish. Get your foods right. Preparation straight. Food combinations in order. Get a plan in place. I make it incredibly simple in the Thrive Academy.